So the healthy tissue is the clear material and then all the pink material is the fibroids. So working with our research team uh, as well as the 3D printing lab at the Ottawa Hospital, we figured out that there was an opportunity to be innovative and offer a patient who otherwise was offered only a hysterectomy, which is complete removal of the uterus, a alternative, a uterine sparing procedure where we remove the fibroids and leave the uterus behind. And if you only have one fibroid or two, that's fine. And we could probably do that surgery without too much difficulty. But when you've got close to 50 fibroids and we want to make sure this uterus is able to carry a baby in the future or function normally, we need help. We need to plan our surgery. And in gynecology and women's health, this really hasn't been done before. So the final part of this whole uh, exciting innovation is the opportunity to teach future surgeons how to do surgery. So it's great for patient care, but ultimately being able to help surgeons of our future understand anatomy, how to approach cases, um, is going to be part of the research program and hopefully the long-term goals of 3D printing as well as women's health. We showed it to her right before her surgery and she was very excited. She was, uh, she saw it and really could understand why she needed this surgery and then that Dr. Singh took the extra step to um, prepare for her surgery. So I think she, her confidence in his abilities had increased.